Good afternoon. Today is a Wednesday. It's new comic book day. I have been to pick up comics. I have also been to go see Moana with Andrew. What did you think of it? I really liked it. It was really good, wasn't it? And also, something I haven't told anyone about because I'm saving it for one long rant. And boy, will there be a rant momentarily. I have finally picked up, after a week of waiting, my Diet Chef food plan thing, which I will go into in a ma minute and I will rant thoroughly. Okay, so first off, Diet Chef is this program that will send you a month's worth of food that will give you a breakfast, lunch, dinner and snack every single day for 30 days. And it's usually quite expensive, but they had like this January offer that if you signed up for three months, your first month would be half price. Signing up for three months is the cheapest option per day anyway. It works out to about £6.60 a day or something like that for all of the food. And, you know, it's basically a calorie controlled diet. Now, I am aware, before any health freaks say anything, that they, calorie counting is not the be all and end all of a healthy lifestyle. In fact, it can actually be incredibly dangerous if you only look at calorie consumption because you could eat enough watts it you know, and stick below, you know, the recommended calorie counts, what you eat as well. So I think it is, you know, I've got to be careful and I've never tried it before, but the thing that sold me on it is that I am a very busy person and I am a very lazy person. I have to admit this, like my work gets prioritized over my own health a lot, which is not good. And this is, this appealed to me because it was something like my food is planned for a month. The amount of times, like on a daily basis, I will go and buy food. And it usually be healthy, but I'll go buy it, cut it, prepare it, cook it, and then the leftovers get wasted because I don't want to eat them the next day. And I've wasted an hour of my life every day cooking where this is all pre-made, it just needs heating up, blah, 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 blah. So I'm, I thought, for the price being half price, I'm going to give it a go. However, the delivery itself was an absolute nightmare and I don't even know if I'll ever use this service again because it was such a waste of time. But I'll just, I'll tell you about that properly. I just thought, you might want to see me unpack all the stuff. So here it is in its full month glory. We have breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Yummy. So I am absolutely shattered. It is 2 a.m. Oh my freaking God. I have spent all day reading and researching comics. I have just filmed 15 videos. And you know how sick it makes me feel to think that's just two weeks worth of footage for our channel. And uh, but not yeah, and I've done a rant about the U UK uh, mail and uh, diet chef thing. So I'm actually just gonna put the main video in now, which I've never done before. <laughs> but I'm gonna put the video in now. So as a reward for following me on my vlogs, you get to watch it here first about how angry I am. <laughs> so enjoy. <laughs> Guys, this main video is actually a raw version of it. It's not edited, or if it will be, it will be minimally so. So if you want to watch it, feel free. It's still the full story, but it is unedited. Or you can wait until it's up on the main channel and you can watch it in its full music and background, sharp youtube jump cuts. Or you can watch both and compare. So now you know what it's like before I actually edit the video. So either way, enjoy. Hello and welcome back to my channel, Torathina, where today I'm doing something on the weekend show that I haven't done in quite a while, and that's tell a story. I actually love story time slash rant slash anything, anything where I just get to be the centre of attention, basically, but today it's for a purpose, it's for a mission. There is a goal here, and the goal is... I don't know yet, I just... I'm still so angry, I can't formulate words yet. that I have to tell you guys that if you are thinking of using Diet Chef, you have to do something else. You have to deal with UK mail. And that's where the horror story begins. So yes, 
It's a week ago, it's a Wednesday, and Diet Chef have a January sale on, and their first month is half price. Now, usually it's quite expensive. It's like, if you get one month, it's 250 quid for a month's worth of food, and it's still quite good, but it is a lot of money. But if you got the three month program, it was like 190 quid each per month, which worked out as like £6.60 per day for three meals and a snack, which is cheap that's that's cheap that's good and then if you got the three month deal your first month was half price and 95 pounds which i'm not being funny is actually brilliant that is genuine it's cheaper than what i pay when i get my weekly shopping in and it's all done for me it's all prepared for me it's all portion controlled calorie counted it may not necessarily be the healthiest option but it's starting my diet the easiest way for me and then with the intention of me picking up the diet once I start losing weight. So I did it, I signed up for it. It's meant to be next day delivery. I did order it late on a Wednesday, so it did say it'd arrive on Friday. So I was like, that's fine, cool. Then Friday comes along and you can track the package. So I was like, yes, and I was eagerly excited to start my new life of being healthy, being fit and being slim. And so I was looking on the tracker and it kept saying, your package is meant to arrive between 11 and 12 a.m. But it is running a little bit late at the moment. And I was like, that's fine, that's fine. I'm used to that. I get a lot of orders, a lot of packages delivered to my shop because of work. So that's fine. I'll just carry on with my day and wait for my package to arrive. Little side note, like I said, it was being delivered to my shop. So the shop is always open. There's no way it couldn't have not been there. There's no way they could have missed us because the building is open. There's no doors to close. There's just nothing, okay? And then four o'clock comes along and the tracker says, just changes. Bear in mind, I had this open all day. And the tracker just said, at depot. Just at depot. Not sorry we missed you. Not, we couldn't get to you. Just at depot. What does that mean? I was meant to have it. Next day delivery, I was meant to be here. And okay, so I find a number. I ring it up and it's a robot. It's a robot that gives me three options to track my package, to change the delivery date, or find out about my consignment at a local depot. I wanted to talk to someone, that's what I wanted, but I didn't have that luxury, so I asked the robot initially to track it, and it just said, at depot. Goodbye, and hung up. Bear in mind that I have to enter this like 12 digit number of my order every time I want to track this or talk to the robot. So for them to just hang up and not ask if I want anything else, it's a little bit stressful. So I ring up again and I say, find out about consignment. And he goes, hi there. Would you like to pick up your delivery at your local depot? It didn't say what my local depot was. It just asked if I wanted to pick it up. And I thought, you know what, it's four o'clock. It says the depot's open till eight. If it is local, maybe I can come and pick it up. So I said, yes. And I went, your local depot is in Runcorn. Runcorn, not that local. Your local depot is in Runcorn. Goodbye. And hung up! So, 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 I then went back onto the tracking thing and it had changed to customer had requested to pick up from local depot. No, 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 no. I said I wanted to, didn't ask. You didn't ask me to confirm and you should have told me where it was before I said yes. So, I was having a little brain aneurysm at this time, and so I rang up again and tried to change the delivery to Monday. Couldn't get Saturday, because you have to pay for that, and Sunday they don't deliver. And so I had it on Monday instead. So I picked on Monday, and the, 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 the website then said, will be delivered on Monday. And I thought, you know what? This is shit, but things happen. I'm gonna let it go. Gonna let it go, it's coming on Monday. And, well, I didn't let it go that much. I tweeted them a lot. During this whole process, the only way I could find of talking to someone was to tweet them. So I was tweeting them nonstop. And uh, about four hours later, they messaged me saying, hi Lucy, sorry about this. Please send us a DM of the situation. So I let it go, I let it go because it was coming on Monday. It's happened, you know, it does, it just happens, it's fine. And Monday arrives. <laughs> it's meant to arrive between 
11 and 12 again. And guess what didn't arrive between 11 and 12? Or one or two or three for that matter. By this time, I'm getting a bit pissed. And I keep looking at the tracking and it doesn't even say that it's out for delivery. It says it's at the depot, but it also says that it will be delivered on Monday, the 30th of January between 11 and 12, 11 and 12. So I'm irate at this point. I am annoyed. So I put a claim in at UK Mail saying, where is my package? And they sent me an email saying, we have registered your claim. Your claim number is this. Uh, then they sent me another email saying, uh, we're sorry you had to open a claim. Uh, what is your full details before we can follow on the claim? Did that. Then it went, thank you. Your case has been closed. What? What? <laughs> and then so I was like, right, this is it. I'm emailing Diet Chef. This is, this is unacceptable. And I sent them a really good email. I was really proud. Like I've never been so professional in my life. And I emailed them and I was like, I know it's not your fault, but you chose this delivery service. And I said that I was really excited about using their products. I, w I wanted to use them for a while, I won't lie. And I took advantage of this deal, I was really excited. I said that I was gonna do a review because I did one for HelloFresh on YouTube like a year ago. And I even put links and made it all look professional as possible and I was really nice. And I told them in as much detail as I could of the situation that happened. And I was saying that I, I feel unheard, I can't speak to anyone and I'm getting very annoyed and I don't know what's going on with my package now. And, um, I got an email back and it said that I have to wait two, email, two working days to have a response. And I was like, okay, that's fine. That's okay, fine. Okay. I then tweet UK Mail and say, look, this is everything that's happened. I'm really upset. What is going on? And then they reply, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get it. I said like, what's going on? This is my order number, blah, 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 blah. And he said, hi, please confirm the full name and address and uh, for protection purposes. So I did. Two hours later, they reply and say, this is showing as customer will collect from the depot. I can advise the full address is this. Uh, the opening times are this. You will need photo ID. Goodbye. <sighs> what you don't understand, Jade from customer services, is that I was taking pictures and proof of everything. And I was like, no, 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 no. It actually says it's set for delivery. I clicked set for delivery. I set the day. The day was actually meant to be Friday, but I clicked on Monday because I couldn't get it on Friday. And it actually says on the screenshot that it is set for Friday, for Monday. She sends me a message the next day, the next day, saying, hi, I can confirm that your delivery is now arranged for Wednesday. We're sorry for the inconvenience. And that's it. That's it. I then get an email of Diet Chef saying, Good morning, thanks for your email. On tracking the order, I can see it's due for delivery tomorrow, the 1st of February. I have asked UK Mail to provide me with an update as to what happened and why the delay is in your order. So we will get back to you ASAP. Sorry for the inconvenience this caused. They didn't, they didn't really respond to anything I said in the email. They didn't reply to anything. All they kind of said was, we see that it's arrived on the 1st of Feb. But it wasn't meant to be here on the 1st of Feb. It was meant to be here on the Friday, not the Wednesday, not a week later after I've ordered this food. If this food was fresh, it'd be off by now. Just gone. Inedible. I just, I've never felt so unheard and so not listened to by two companies in my life. And I can't ring them up. I can't speak to anyone. There's no one to speak to. UK Mail is like a sister company to DHL. Are you telling me DHL don't have one person that I can call and talk to on the fucking phone? I then get an email off Diet Chef saying, how would you, could you send us a feedback on how you rate our customer services? Oh, I, think I, can, I think I can do that. So after a very irate email that I sent back with their feedback, I have yet to hear from that. I have yet to hear from anyone. So I just thought, the, the, my YouTube channel will hear it because no one else will listen to me. My housemates are like, Lucy, we're tired of hearing from you from now on. We get it, you're annoyed. And I know it doesn't sound like the end of the world. And I, even though I've just been talking, I kept feeling like, Actually, is that it? That doesn't sound that bad. But it is bad. It is. Because a company, and I'm very sensitive to stuff like this because I own my own business. I don't like to be late with stuff like this, except Patreon. We're not gonna talk about that because I'm also really busy running my business. <laughs> but the thing is, when I am late, I compensate people because that's what you do. That's good customer service. You don't 
ignore them, you don't neglect them, you don't make it incapable of them to get in contact with you, and you don't say next day delivery when it's actually, oh, in a week's time. And like I said, if it was fresh food, it'd be off. And the fact that I couldn't speak to anyone and I still haven't spoke to anyone, and the fact that no one's addressed anything I've said except just the fact that, oh, we can see on the computer it's meant to be the 1st of Feb. Well, no, bitch, it was meant to be like on the 28th. How about that, Jade? <sighs> So yeah, I need to rant. I, I, I wasn't actually feeling that up to it. I was actually kind of upset and I've just done 15 videos and I was kind of deflated and tired, but apparently what wakes up Lucy more than just screaming at a camera. So there you go. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching this. I'm so sorry. It's just I needed to rant. I really did because I was going to murder someone and I do feel a little bit better for this. And honestly, I was really excited about using Diet Chef and I have the food now for the first month and I was going to make loads of videos on it. <sighs> And I've got two months coming up and I just want to cancel it. And I don't think I can now, but I think I'm within my right to cancel it. I just, I'm just really upset, guys. Because <laughs> the idea of going through that again, two more times, I just don't want. I don't want it in my life. I'd like it to go away now. And I'm very upset. So yeah, there you go. Worst customer service I've ever had. Please like and comment because it really helps out the video. And don't forget to subscribe because I do videos every day. They're just not always like this. <laughs> They're bad like this, but not rants. So <laughs> see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.